Hello and welcome back my friends. Today we have another easy answer random order video for the US citizenship test. However, today we are going to go a bit faster than usual. So let's see if you are ready for this fast practice. First question. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To provide schooling and education. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived. American Indians. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for civil rights. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. Who is the governor of your state now? Okay. 
The governor answers will vary here. So you'll need to find out the name of your governor. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? 1787. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day, President's Day. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. 
There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What is one reason colonists came to America? For freedom. We elect a president for how many years? Four. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Who vetoes bills? The President. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. In what month do we vote for president? November. What does the president's cabinet do? advises the president. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Who was the first president? George Washington. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. We elect a U.S. Representative for how many years? Two. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and join a political party. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Okay, answers here will vary depending where you live. You can get that information at senate.gov 
or ask us below and we will help you out. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Missouri River. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. What is the capital of your state? Okay, answers here will vary, of course. Um, find out the capital of your state or ask below. Name your U.S. representative. Again, here answers will vary. This one is a little tricky because it goes by your zip code and your street address. So you'll need to go to house.gov to type in your zip code. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To obey the laws of the United States. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said that the United States is free. 
Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. What is an amendment? It's a change to the Constitution. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He fought for civil rights. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. And there you have it, all 100 civics questions. We went much faster this time. Hope everything went well. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please subscribe. We appreciate your support. Please leave questions and comments below and we will do what we can to help you find the answers you need. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.